This is how markets close this Friday, May 15th. Stocks ended the week with slight gains, though that was no thanks to Friday's snoozer of a session. The S&P 500 managed to inch to a new record close. However, that was barely one point above Thursdays. Weak consumer sentiment and industrial data kept investors on the sidelines. Pepco topped the S&P 500 after a Maryland Public Service Commission approved Exelon's $6.8 billion takeover. The companies are expected to complete the transaction in the third quarter. Keurig was the worst performer on the S&P 500 after analysts at CLSA cut their price target and maintained an underperform rating. The firm said it expects lower household penetration. Netflix led the Nasdaq on Friday on reports the streaming service is set to introduce its content to Chinese markets. And Symantec bottomed out on the Nasdaq as the latest victim of a stronger dollar. The antivirus developer reported weaker than expected revenue in its first quarter. And that's a wrap for the day in New York. I'm Karis Leia for The Street.